In this video, we will see how to integrate multiple Spring Boot configuration classes. Often times, you need to break the configuration in multiple classes. In this video, we will see how to incorporate the multiple configuration classes while running our Spring Boot app. Here, I have Spring Tool Suite running on my machine, which is a flavor of Eclipse. Here is a Spring Boot project which I had built earlier in my video, Spring Boot REST documentation using Swagger. Please watch that video if you want to see how to build this project. In this Spring Boot project, here is my main class which has the Spring Boot application annotation. The Spring Boot annotation combines a lot of annotations, one of them being the configuration annotation marking it as a configuration class. Say I want to include another configuration class for my Swagger integration. So I have created another class over here called Swagger config. The details of this class is not important for the purpose of this demo, but it is important to know that it is another configuration class for our application. So at this point, we have two configuration classes for our Spring Boot app. To include the second configuration class to be picked up along with the main one, we can put the import annotation using which we can specify other configuration classes to import. So here, the swagger config.class. If there were more configuration classes, we can specify them here within the array as a comma separated list of classes. This is how you integrate multiple configuration classes. The other way is that instead of creating a separate config class, I can directly paste the other configuration class in this main class. This would work too, but I like creating separate classes which keeps things cleaner and better organized. In this video, we saw how to integrate multiple Spring Boot configuration classes using the import annotation. Thanks for watching.